Hey, did you know you can add Minecraft natively to your MetaQuest 2 and it's actually pretty simple. This means that you can run Minecraft Java Edition without a PC on the headset standalone without any cords. For simplicity's sake of the tutorial, I used a PC in order to record the installation of QuestCraft. However, you don't need a PC. There is a video link down below that teaches you how to install things to your headset using SideQuest, the mobile app on your phone. Using that video, you can follow the same exact process to install QuestCraft onto your Quest. The first step, you need to download SideQuest and install it onto your PC. If you do not know how to do that, you can either click on the video up in the top right by clicking that I, or you can go down to the description where I have a video link that'll teach you how to do that. Then you have to plug in your headset. In order to connect your headset to SideQuest, you need to click Allow Access and Allow ADB Debugging. If neither of these prompts are showing up, it means your cord probably does not transfer data or it is not plugged in correctly. If the allow access one pops up but ADB debugging does not, what you may have to do is go and turn on developer mode inside your Oculus app, and then go into your headset settings and allow ADB debugging. If that still doesn't work, you may have to update your ADB drivers. If you need more help, I have an entire YouTube channel under the same name of Fluffy Says, where you can watch lots of tutorial videos. Once your headset is connected to SideQuest, which you can confirm by seeing the green dot up in the corner, then you're going to want to search QuestCraft in the search bar. Go to the QuestCraft page and click on the pink download app button. It may take some time to download and install, but you'll know you're done when you see the all tasks complete down in the bottom left with the green bar. And it's as easy as that. All you have to do is go into your headset, head into your apps, go to unknown sources, and then click on Quest. Questcraft. If you've already installed Questcraft before and you're reinstalling Questcraft, what may end up happening is even after you get the AOK -okay that it's installed through SideQuest, it won't show up in your unknown sources. If this is the case, what you have to do is run the adb uninstall net.kdt.pojav launch.debug. Then from there you want to install the APK manually from GitHub. Once again, this is only for the people struggling to download the game through SideQuest. A login page will appear, sign into your normal Minecraft account, and the launcher should open. From the launcher, you want to change the Minecraft version, so go all the way down to the bottom and click on Fabric Loader. After that, you have to go into your settings, click on Video and Renderer, and then click on the third option. Even if it is already selected, select it again. And then you're good to click Play. A pop-up will appear, and it is important that you always click Play anyways. It'll take a while to load in all of the assets and shaders, that way it works on the headset, but once it does, the screen will go black with three white dots. You may be there for a while, if it doesn't go away after like five minutes, I recommend restarting your headset and trying again. Soon after, your screen will go red and then you'll load into Minecraft. And the final step before you can play is clicking that little reset button on the main menu that will update the settings, that way you won't lag as much in game and it'll optimize it to the headset. With that being said, I hope you enjoy. I did not by any means create QuestCraft. I am merely just teaching you how to use it. If you want to support the creators, which I highly recommend you do, check out their Patreon QCXR. With that being said, this was a fairly short and straightforward tutorial. However, if you are having issues, feel free to leave a comment down below. I love answering them. Along with that, if you need extensive help, you can join my Discord or the QuestCraft Discord. Just make sure when you join either of our discords that you're asking questions in the proper correct channels and that you're not spamming questions that have already been answered previously. I recommend checking pins as well as checking commonly asked questions if there is one of those channels. Hopefully, if you are having issues, we can help. With that being said, have a good rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.